The Archer debuts as a fresh, basic vocation in this sequel, diverging from the Strider class in the previous game, which encompassed both long-ranged and melee compatibilities. The Archer's speciality primarily is inflicting long-range physical damage, emphasizing a role centralized around dealing damage from a distance. Although the Archer's damage per hit may be comparatively modest, their attacks unfold rapidly. Foresee the Archer preceding positioning skills to facilitate disengagement and maintaining a safe distance from the enemy. Expect a repertoire of skills enabling the archer to unleash a volley of arrows in a diverse way, providing effectiveness in crowd control against weaker monsters and creating opportunities for other damage dealers in the party to capitalize and assail stronger monsters. Count on the archer to wield various types of arrows suited for different situations, including explosive ones, enchanted ones, and their ability to dictate the battlefield. A comparable vocation, the Strider, made an appearance in the original game of Dragon's Dogma, balancing both melee and ranged attacks. However, the archer in the sequel seems to pose a much more focus on the emphasis and delivering the ranged attacks and skills to the battlefield. I'm very optimistic about the return of the certain weapon from the original game, potentially enchanted, and the possibility of previous skills being accessible to the archer, at least a kin alternatives. Anticipate the archer in Dragon's Dogma 2 to unleash high burst damage with swift movement. Reminiscent of its Strider counterpart in the original game, while the Archer may not be the boast of high HP, survival in combat is likely to hinge on nimble and agile movement throughout the game. Optimal party composition for an Archer mains could improve a robust melee ally, capable of stunning and restraining enemies throughout your playthrough, complemented by a mage to amplify the overall amount of damage out Remember, playing the archer within this game, the second game, views to me as you will be a supporting damage. The introduction of a dedicated ranger bow user brings a distant and diverse adventure and options into combat. Even though narrowing weapon choices for those two favorites of the strider vocation, this new vocation allows players to concentrate on honing in a single weapon, streamlining the damage dealing process process. If the archer is needed to prove to be agile within the ranged attacks, they could also become one of the more enjoyable vocations to play, especially when considering the environmental interaction introduced within Dragon's Dogma 2, potentially leading to increase the movement for the agile vocations. Given that the archer marks as a new addition to the game, there's optimization for a new expanded arsenal, not only for the archer, but potentially for other vocations as well. Increased equipment availability across the board would be a welcome addition to the gaming experience and hopefully we do see that going into the second game. Now this is based purely off of theory of what I think the Archer class is actually going to be like or the Archer vocation within Dragon's Dogma 2. This is all speculation. this is all from what I viewed from the trailers and other different gameplay videos that we have seen online to date. I'm really excited just to see every single one of these classes. I will be trying absolutely every one of them out as well. And I will be putting out a follow video upon release to do with these videos as well. Guys, if you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Much more of the original game and content to do with the second game coming out at the release at the end of March. But as always, guys, stay brave and keep exploring.